Pakistan has a new prime minister. As expected, it is Shehbaz Sharif, the leader of opposition, now the 23rd prime minister of Pakistan. Rome was not built overnight. Magar, hemat karenge aur aage badenge. Main yahan par ye bhi kehna chahta hu ki Sir Winston Churchill ne 1940 mein Darul Awam mein khitab kiya tha aur ye kaha tha ki I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears and sweat. Main aapko imandari se kehta hu ki aaj jis jagah par माजी की हुकूमत ने मुल्क को छोड़ा है हमारे पास आंसुओं और आहों और खून देने के अलावा कौम को कुछ नहीं बचा लेकिन हिम्मत नहीं हारनी हारनी चाहिए मेरा ईमान है कि अगर हिम्मत होगी अल्लाह से हम रहम मांगेंगे और मेहनत करेंगे तो ये पाकिस्तान की हालत जरूर बदलेगी दैट वॉज शरीफ मैसेज first message to his people he also swore allegiance to china and gave a piece of advice to india's prime minister narendra modi all of it in his very first address as prime minister of pakistan we'll play out those uh, in a bit but first let's recap the day for you pakistan's national assembly met today on the agenda was the election of a new prime minister the gallery was packed our correspondent anas malik was in the hall it was a ruckus he said there was a lot of sloganeering slogans against imran khan slogans against sharif and his party the pmln2 Midway through the session, Imran Khan's party, the Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf, decided to resign en masse. The boycott was led by Shah Mahmood Qureshi, Pakistan's now former foreign minister and the second in command of Imran Khan's party. The PTI wanted him to be prime minister. Before leaving, Qureshi told the House, "Today, some people have lost despite winning, and some have won despite losing." इस प्रोसेस का हिस्सा बनना आज इस प्रोसेस में शामिल होना एक नाजायज हुकूमत को लिजिटिमेट करने के मुतरद होगा और हम इस गुनाह में शरीक नहीं होना चाहते मैं तरीक इंसाफ का वजारत उजमा का कैंडिडेट था मैं आज उस सिलेक्शन की बायकॉट का ऐलान कर रहा हूं मैं बात पाकिस्तान के ख्वाह है आज हम मुस्तफी होने का ऐलान कर रहे हैं The proceedings did not stop though the acting speaker Ayaz Sadiq announced the nomination for the house the leader of the house and he messed it up Sadiq wanted to say Shehbaz Sharif instead he said Nawaz Sharif the parliamentarians did not seem to mind in fact PMLN members began cheering and thumping the desks Sadiq apologized he said Nawaz Sharif was in his heart and mind hence the slip of the tongue At the end of the day and all the drama Shehbaz Sharif was overwhelmingly voted the leader of pakistan's national assembly aka the 23rd prime minister of pakistan soon he delivered a lengthy address to the people at home he promised cheap flour and higher salaries for those watching from outside pakistan he laid out his foreign policy he spoke highly of turkey and iran and wasted no time in swearing allegiance to china china and pakistan are time tested friends he said and nobody can quote and quote separate the two sharif also thanked chinese president xi jinping what for Well, you must listen to this. Mr. Speaker, किसी को कोई शक नहीं होना चाहिए कि चीन पाकिस्तान का एक वफादार, काबिल इतमाद और अमन और दुख और सुख का साथी है चीन. चीन ने पाकिस्तान का न सिर्फ इकतसादी हवाले से हमेशा साथ दिया, बल्कि इंटरनेशनल फोरम पर हमेशा हमारा साथ दिया और पाकिस्तान को हमेशा अपना एक हमसाया दोस्त जाना ये दोस्ती जो है ये हकूमतों के दरमियान तो रहती है कोई हकूमत आए या जाए ये दोस्ती लाजवाल है क्यों कि ये दोनों ममालिक के आवाम के दिलों में बसती है लिहाजा कोई कुछ कर ले चीन की पाकिस्तान की दोस्ती कोई हमसे छीन नहीं सकता और पिछली हुकूमत ने इस दोस्ती को कमजोर करने के लिए और इस दोस्ती में जोफ पैदा करने के लिए जो कुछ किया वो बड़ी एक तकलीफ दे दास्तान है सी पैक को इंशाला अब पाकिस्तान स्पीड से चलाएंगे आगे चलाएंगे बढ़ाएंगे और जीव करेंगे और हम चीनी सदस्य जनाब शी जिनपिंग और चीनी क्यादत के इंतहाई शुक्रगुजार हैं Now, 
which address in Pakistan is complete without the mention of India. Sheba Sharif is a product of dynasty and he seems to have mastered the craft of whipping nationalism well. In his first address to his country as Prime Minister, Sharif raised the Kashmir issue. He said relations with India cannot be peaceful until Kashmir is quote unquote settled. Last Sharif ne Bharat se jab aman ka haat badhaya tha to wohi Nawaz Sharif tha jisne aqwaam-e mutadda mein assembly mein wahan par ja kar kashmiriyon ki haq e khud iradiyat unki azadi ke liye ek zordar bahut shandar inspiring taqreer ki thi aur aaj hum acche taluqat ke khwah hain lekin masla kashmir ke munsifana hal tak paaydar aman qaim nahi ho sakta kashmiri bhaiyon aur behnon ke liye har forum par awaaz uthayenge diplomatic efforts karenge unko diplomatic support denge moral support denge ye hamara haq hai aur main prime minister modi ko main ye mashwara dunga ke aap samjhe kashmir ka masla aqwaam e mutadda ki qaraardadon aur kashmiriyon ki umangon ke mutabiq tay kare aur dono ataraf in ghurbat ko khatam kare ghurbat ko mitaye Now we have a piece of advice for Sharif too. If he wants an innings better than Imran Khan, he might as well concentrate on domestic issues first. Kashmir is not a debt that needs settling, you see, and Pakistan already has a lot of books it needs to settle ASAP. So this is where things stand. There is a new prime minister in Pakistan. The National Assembly has been adjourned till the 16th of April. Imran Khan is out, and so is Sharif's manifesto. Now, while all of this was happening, another part of Islamabad saw this: Imran Khan meeting his allies and party members. Here's a photo from that meeting. Earlier today, Imran Khan also resigned from the National Assembly. There was chaos on the streets. His supporters had gathered in large numbers. So had men and women loyal to the opposition. At one point, it became democracy versus dynasty. इनशाला जो आखिरी फैसला होगा वो आवाम का होगा इस जमहूरी निज़ाम में जो आखिरी आवाज़ होगी वो आवाम की होगी और आवाम की आवाज जो है वो इमरान खान है इन द रन अपू दिस चेंज ऑफ गार्ड वी सो लॉर ऑफ मेस Pakistan stop court had said 9th April as the deadline for the no confidence vote breaching it meant a constitutional crisis And you know what happened on Saturday the National Assembly met at 10:30 a.m. local time Saturday on the chair was National Assembly speaker Asad Kaiser an Imran Khan loyalist the opposition called for an immediate vote Imran Khan's men wanted to discuss the matter first they wanted a discussion there were heated arguments iska muqabla karne ka irada rakhte hain ve aaj ek aur cheez aapse nahi lete hamari gareeb qoum hai magar hamari izzat hai fakar hai thank you the speaker adjourned the proceedings within 30 minutes he gave no reason why the clock was ticking the deadline for the vote was fast approaching the house met again 11:45 pm local time the speaker and deputy speaker quit opposition leader ayaz sadik took over the session finally it was time for the vote by now it was 11:58 local time just 2 minutes to the deadline The parliamentarians had to decide whether they wanted Imran Khan to quit and that's what they voted for the removal of Imran Khan as prime minister of Pakistan the camera soon turned to Shehbaz Sharif he became the man of the moment and he wasted no time in making a victory speech kuru membran ko aur puri qoum ko no cross main salam pesh karta hu ke jin ki jadije mein ye din aaj qoum ko dekhna naseeb hua Outside the parliament opposition supporters waved Pakistan's national flag And they were not alone Imran Khan supporters were there too protesting the removal of their leader So where was Imran Khan not in the parliament he'd promised to be a sport remember but he ducked the parliament session instead khan decided to pull off a donald trump he called on his followers to protest he said come out on the streets as the country's parliament was voting on his fate over the last few weeks in fact khan has tried everything to stay in power he even cried foreign interference blamed the us for trying to oust him 
When a no-confidence vote was imminent, he got the parliament adjourned. He advised Pakistan's president to call for a snap election. The judiciary had to intervene. They called Imran Khan's actions illegal. Pakistan's top court ordered the parliament to reconvene and hold the trust vote. By 1 a.m. local time Sunday, Imran Khan had been bowled out. Some Pakistanis waved the national flag. Others booed the decision. Imran Khan's supporters also protested outside Nawaz Sharif's London home. Over the weekend... Imran Khan also changed his Twitter bio. It now reads, former Prime Minister of Pakistan. He tweeted, thanking his loyalists for the support and branding the opposition leaders, the local Mir Jafars. It's a reference to the first dependent Nawab of Bengal under the East India Company. In short, a traitor. Now, here are a few things that you must note at this point. Number one, the mass resignation of leaders from the National Assembly could lead to by-elections. Number two, Shehbaz Sharif will be leading a coalition slash unstable government. And number three, the change of guard will also reflect on Pakistan's foreign relations. FYI, elections in Pakistan are due in August 2023. What happens in Pakistan between now and then will be decided by three protagonists. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.